TK! For this week's fine motor, since we're studying about the jungle, you know a friend in TK that comes from the jungle. Do you know who he is? Yes, Ollie and Bono. Yeah, so we're thinking maybe today we will make a paper bag puppet of an owl so Ollie can have an owl friend. Wouldn't that be fun, Ollie? Yes, it would? Yes, all right. And then for next week, your challenge is an animal, a jungle animal report. So you're gonna pick a jungle animal and maybe you'll decide to make a paper bag, paper bag, um, puppet of the animal that you choose to help you present your animal report, okay? So what you are going to need are some markers, whatever color you want. You will need a pair of scissors. Ollie, can I put this here? Okay, you can fly back over here. There we go. All right, scissors, markers, of course, glue stick. Um, if you want, I just got a cap right here just to help make the circle. You don't have to, you can free draw your circle with your hands and that's okay. You'll need a small lunch bag, like a paper, brown paper bag, and you will need some color construction paper, whatever color you want your owl to be, okay? All right, go gather your materials and then come on back. All right, so are we ready to start? First of all, make sure your paper bag is facing the right way. So make sure this flap right here, this is the side we want to work with, not this side where it's all flushed and flat, okay? So we want the side with the little flap, all right? Okay, now we are going to decide what color do you want the owl's head to be. Like here, I chose orange, but um, this time maybe I think I'm gonna make a girl owl, so I'm gonna do pink, okay? So I'm gonna take my pink paper, all right, and I'm going to measure it. You see how I'm going to put it against the paper bag and the end of the bag and the end of the paper are going to meet. So I'm gonna flip it around. Okay, flip everything around so you can see this. There we go. The end of the paper bag and the end of my construction paper will meet. I'm going to push that down and draw a nice straight line against the edge of the paper bag. Here we go. Now flip back this way because that's the way we want to use. Okay, and now I'm going to just cut against that line like that. Okay, and you see how there's some marker line right there. I'm going to use the other side so there's no marker. Okay, there we go. And now I'm going to glue that triangle onto this flap. So let's put some glue here. There you go. I have a nice pink triangle. Okay, and I'll put it on right there okay then we're going to make his beak or her beak this is gonna be a her what's her name uh, i think i'm gonna call her molly okay molly time for your beak what color should we make your beak mm, how about yellow okay so i'm gonna make her yellow beak so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a piece of paper and I'm just going to use the corner and I'm just going to cut down. 
however I want to cut it. So now you see this triangle? Yeah, that's going to be her beak. So I'm going to glue it down. So I can make her have a long beak. I can make her have a shorter beak if I want to. I think I like it long. So I'm going to make it like this. She's going to have a long beak. Make sure though, you don't glue onto this, onto this side of the paper, just the flap, okay? So I'm gonna glue that right there. Okay. So do you see how it's not touching this bottom piece? Okay, that way we can keep it open and closed. I think I need a little bit more glue there, okay. Now for the eyes. What color eyes should we give her? Should I give her yellow eyes too? Okay, I think I like the yellow eye. So once again, I'm going to use my yellow piece of paper. I'm gonna move you over here a little. And glue stick. And I'm using my cap, okay? And I'm going to just trace it, make two circles, one circle, and two circles, okay? That's gonna be the outside of the eye. Now I'm going to make the inside of the eye. So I'm going to use, you know what? I think I want purple. I'm just going to freehand this, or if you want, you can use like this so you can even go like this use the cap to the glue stick to help you make this the circle inside or if you don't want to you can just freehand it like this see it doesn't matter whichever way okay then i want you to make a little circle in there just like that. And we're going to color in the big circle, but not the little circle, okay? If you have googly eyes, you can just place a big googly eye right there instead of drawing this small circle. That might be really cute and fun. I just don't have any googly eyes with me here. They're still all at school. All right. Now I have two eyes, okay? And I'm gonna give Molly an extra ring around her eyes close to the other ring. So I'm just going to trace it. For some reason, it looks better that way. So I'm gonna give, it makes her eyes super big looking. Because that what, that's what owls have, right? Super big eyes. Okay. You know what to do next. Yep, time to cut. Okay. So I'm going to follow my circle. See how this hand is just turning the paper and the other hand is really staying in one position. Yep, we want to practice that, okay? There we go. I've got one eye. And I'm going to cut my second eye out. Well, not really my eyes, huh? Molly's eyes. There we go. Nice work. Okay. I'll put that over there. So now do you have two eyes? All right. 
Now we get to glue the eyes onto the face and you get to decide where you want the dot. Do you want the dot on the bottom? Do you want her to be looking down? Or maybe to the side, up this way? Or how about up that way? Mm, I think I'm gonna have her kind of look down like this. Yeah, I kind of like it like that. And I'm going to, when I glue it on, I'm gonna cover part of the beak with the eye like that okay so let's put glue on my circles here circle circle all around gluing 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 down my circle for molly's eyes and stop when i say go wait that doesn't make any sense go when i say stop no, freeze when I say stop, Miss Boo, freeze. I miss the freeze dance. That's one of the best things about TK. Freeze dance. Da -da -da. There we go. Now we have the owl's face. Okay. Are you caught up with me yet? Yes. Okay. So now, Molly needs some ears. Hmm, what color ears should we give her? I think I'm going to give her red. She's gonna have some red ears. What about yours? What color do, are you going to give her? Whatever color, it doesn't matter. They can even be two different colors, okay? So same thing with what we did for the beak you're going to find a corner of your paper and you're just going to cut that. And what shape do you have? A triangle, okay? And then you can go to the other side to another one. And if you want it to be exactly the same, you can put it right there and draw a line. Or you don't have to. I'm just gonna eyeball it and it might be a little bigger, it might be a little smaller, but it's okay. You know, our ears aren't exactly the same either. Yeah, like Miss Boo's ears, I think one is higher than the other. Because when I wear my glasses, it gets like tilted. Okay, so now Molly's got two ears. So we are going to, let's see, do I want to angle her ears in this way? Do I want to angle her ears out this way? So you get to decide how you want to put her ears. Do you want it straight up? Do you want it pointed together? Hmm, I think I kind of like it just pointing out a little bit like that. So go ahead and flip it over to the other side and place your ears how you want it and then glue it down, okay? I'm gonna have hers facing out a little, so like that. Molly's got a lot of triangles on her, huh? There we go. So we're done with Molly's face. Now, we need to give Molly, yep, her feathers in her belly. So I think I'm gonna go with red, yeah? Okay. So I'm going to put my paper over my bag here, just so I can see how big I need to draw my, my um, oval. So now, we're going to draw an oval that is small enough to fit on our paper bag, okay? So start at the top, and go down and around. There we go, I think that fits. How did your oval look? Good, okay. 
So time to cut. Cut out that oval. Here we go. And you know what to do next. Yes? Uh-huh. Yep. We're going to glue it down. And same thing with the face. I'm going to put glue on the side that has the marker, okay? So, lots of glue. And flip it over and glue it down right in the middle. Okay. There we go. All right. Now let's give her some feather patterns. So I'm going to just make some connected curves here. They look like waves, don't they? Almost looks like an Easter egg. All right. Maybe another line up here. There we go. Okay, what is she missing now? What's missing on her? What is what does Molly need? She needs her wings. Okay, so for the wings, go ahead and decide what color you want. Then you can ask mom or dad to help trace your hand. So I'm gonna I'm going to put one hand right here. Okay, and I'm going to trace my hand. And then I'm going to chase the other hand. And it might be better if you do it with pencil and then you won't get marker marks all over your hand. But it's okay too if you get marker marks all over your hand because you can just wash them off. No worries. There we go. So, see, I got marker marks on my hand, but that's fine. All right, so I just made my wings. Time to cut it out, okay? See if you've gotten any better with following the lines as you're cutting, especially with tricky patterns like your hand where you have to do a lot of turning there we go. have your scissor skills gotten better no then you might want to practice more cutting every day. And yes, then great. I'm glad when you get into kinder, your kinder teachers will be very happy that you are good with your scissors. It makes a lot of projects go faster. Here we go, that's one and Here's my other hand. Remember around the corners, make small snips, okay? Small snips will help you go around that corner nicely. Okay, 
I am almost done. Two more fingers to go. And to my thumb. my two hands and they are going to be the wings same thing I, I want to use the side that has no markers okay so I'm going to put it in see if ooh that looks pretty doesn't that look pretty I'm having my thumb up my thumb's pointing up and my pinky's pointing down and you can even have it like closer together. You can have it far, far apart. Maybe, maybe it's sticking up, but I think I kind of like it just sticking down a little bit like this, okay? So once you have decided how you want your, your wings to look, go ahead and flip it to the back and it's time to put glue on. Okay, so I'm gonna put glue right here and I'm making sure it goes down like I want it. And this side, same thing. And now I'm gonna twist that glue stick and cap it because we are finished with our glue stick. Okay, there we go. Aha, 